Hi guys, welcome to the fourth Synology tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how to use your domain name with your NAS. In a previous tutorial I showed you how to access your server with your own subdomain, like um, this subdomain that I showed in the tutorial on ts.mywebsite.dk. But um, if you want to use your top level domain, this would be mine. This is how to do that. So stay tuned. The first step you need is that you need to have a static IP address. And if you're not sure whether or not you have a static IP address, um, contact your broadband provider um, and they will provide you with that information. Um, if you don't want to contact your broadband provider, you can open up your browser, go to what's What's my IP.org? And um, this website will show you what your IP address is. And do this for a couple of days, check it for a couple of times each day. And if the IP address stays the same, um, you pretty much know that you have a static IP address already, which I have, for example. Okay, once you know you have a static IP address, you need to refer your domain to your server and I'll show you how to do that. To refer your domain go to your domain providers web page and in there you need to find the DNS zone file uh, settings and um, this is my provider and in there you will have a lot of records and what you need to change is the A record for the domain for the main domain that you want to get access to your server with. This is my main domain and this is the A record and then I'll just change this IP address to the IP address of my server which I could find in the what's my IP.org web page. So this is my IP address. I'll just copy this and just paste it in in this A record. Then I'll save the changes. Now, when the changes are saved, your top level domain are pointing directly to the IP address of your server. Okay, it's now confirming that the record is changed successfully. So let's try and access my Synology with my top level domain. Let's see if it works. And it does. So um, thanks for watching and I hope you will stay tuned for my later Synology tutorials as I will be showing uh, how to encrypt your server, how to use um, port forwarding with mobile apps and more. So um, yeah, thanks for watching guys.